Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Nancy and we are continuing to play with the Celebrations card kit from the March 2024 release from Gina K Designs. This kit is still available. It is a wonderful kit, chocked full of goodies. So if you didn't catch my last two videos, um, I played with the layering poppies and the bold balloons stencils and the incentive set which is free with $75 purchase while supplies last. And you get free shipping with Gina K if you spend $50 in the U.S. So I don't know what you're waiting for. It's a wonderful, wonderful set. We're also going to be playing with today the On the Inside Birthday Sentiments, which also is available still. Um, so we're going to be playing with this as well. So as you know, I always say the two most cards that I make are thank you and birthdays. So let's get into it. So I have a piece of layering white cardstock. This is just a waffle flower stencil mat so that everything doesn't move. And this is layer one of the candles that I have here. And I have a variety of Gina K little mini inks in my little Simon Says stamp ink holder there. Um, I believe this one's red hot. Yep. So I have Red Hot, Tangerine Twist, Wild Dandelion, Grass Green, Blue Raspberry, Wild Lilac, Passionate Pink, and Black. So we're just going to start with the bottom layer. I did find my pixie tape. My daughter had it. Like for three days I was looking for that tape. Like what did I do? I thought I accidentally threw it away. And I said to her, hey, can you help me find my tape? And you know what she said? Oh, it's on my desk, Mom. <laughs> Um, I also have a piece, um, so this layering white is cut down to five and a quarter by four, and I have a piece of gold metallic cardstock from Gina K. This is cut down to five and a half by four and a quarter, so that's going to be our matte layer. So we're going to go a little extra spiffy with this birthday card by having that as our matte layer, and then I have my Gina K adhesive that will stick everything together. So let's get into it. I missed out on the Gina K um, brushes. So I'm just going to use the brushes that I have. Use what you have in your, in your arsenal. And, um, I'm going to, I'm going to go rainbow order here. Yes, I am. I'm going to be kind of light handed with my first layer here. Just going to go from one color to the next. So that's red hot. We're going to go next into Tangerine Twist. I'm going to use the same brush. Again, just very light. And for yellow, I am going to switch up my brushes here for Wild Dandelion. Then we're going to go into Grass Green. And I have blue raspberry. And of course, for my purple fans, wild lilac. You guys were kind of upset I didn't put purple balloons in the last card. I'm sorry. <laughs> My favorite, the pinks. Passionate pink.
Okay, starting over again, back to the reds. Go back to this one and make it a little more red. Again with red hot. And tangerine twist. And ending again with Wild Dandelion. Okay, and before I move on to the second stencil, gonna move this down oh so pretty and we're gonna do the top parts of the flames with the wild dandelion Okay, that looks really good like that, but it is a layering stencil. So we're gonna come back in with our second layer. I'm gonna tuck this into the corner of my mat to make sure everything's lined up and you can see how our dots line up. And I'm pretty much just gonna go back in with the same colors and just darken those layers. So it's gonna be like a, a tone on tone. You know, of course you could add darker colors, but I'm gonna go in actually Maybe I'll just go in with black. I think I'll just go in with black. Yeah, I kind of like those rainbow colors, but I think the black will give a nice contrast. Let's do black. Yeah, we're gonna do black. Okay, so where is my little black brush? There we go. And we're just using Gina K Black Onyx for that. And I'm using a super fine brush for this. Let me see how I like that. Yeah, I think I like the black. Okay, we're gonna stick with the black. I was gonna do tone on tone, but I saw the polka dots and I'm like, they would look good in black. Sometimes you just gotta change it up. I'm going to stamp my sentiments in black so that'll tie everything together and then we have that gold metallic background and you know birthday cards are just fun to make but it's fun to have a whole bunch on hand because I don't know about you guys I try to remember everybody's birthday but sometimes just springs up oh shoot guess whose birthday's you know today or tomorrow or coming up next week and then it's like you know what just go just go grab a birthday card right so it's just nice to have some on hand, have them pre-stamped out, 
you know, and have the sentiments all ready to go. And then all I got to do is sign it and pop it in the mail or drop it off or whatever, right? Put a gift card inside. So I love having birthday cards ready to go. And I was just having a discussion with my friends. And I'd like to know in the comments down below, do you guys, I know I'm terrible with it, but my friend Tracy is really good with it. Do you guys often have your sentiments on the inside? Because I'm terrible with that. I always forget to put a sentiment on the inside. So when I saw this on the inside birthday sentiments, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get that. It's a good reminder for myself to just have them ready to go. I always mean to do it, but I don't always do it when I'm making the card. So I think that's something that I need to consciously work on this year is when I'm doing my card making, just do the inside right? That's something I think I need to work on as a card maker. So I want to know in the comments down below, are you an inside card person or not? Do you remember to stamp the inside or do you just leave them blank? Like I usually just leave them blank and just write something on the inside, but I feel like I want to work on having something stamped on the inside. I think it finishes the card more, which is why I know Tracy does it because then the card is done. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm lazy, but tell me in the comments below, are you the type of person that finishes your card with a stamp sentiment on the inside or are you like me and just leave them blank on the inside? I'm just taking a poll. I'd like to know. I can't be the only one that does not finish cards on the inside. But this on the inside sentiment stamps, I'll read them to you guys in a second. It's available. It is not part of the monthly kit. Um, by the way, if you are looking for any of the um, cards that I showed last month, any of the 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 stamps or stencils they are available as individual items now a lot of them have sold out already as individual items um, right now everything I've shown you so far this month as part of this release is only in the spring celebrations kit um, it will be available as individual items next month but honestly it's a much better value if you guys buy the kit and if there's something in the kit you don't like Keep an open mind because as these inspiration and design team cards come out, join the Gina K Facebook group. You will be surprised at the inspiration and what the design team does with it. Something you may not have thought of or something that you look at it and go, mm, not my type. I don't know that I'm going to like it or use it. You might get inspiration from the design team or other people's cards when they post them in the design team or in the Facebook group. Um, and you might say, huh, I wouldn't have thought of using it that way. Now I probably will use it. Or I'm sure you have crafty friends that you can pass it along to somebody and gift it to them. Right? So think of it that way. Save yourself the money. Oh, that looks really cool with the black. Save yourself some money. Get the kit. There's a lot of value in the kit. And then you can, at the end of the year, the things that you don't like, or you have a crafty friend, maybe you trade with your crafty friends and say, hey, I didn't really like this set. I'll trade you, you know, this out of that, this stencil for that stencil. You know, maybe you do like a little goodie give bag at the end of the year. I don't know. Um, I'm just lining up my little center of my flames now. I guess they would actually be down at the bottom. And I'm just using my tangerine twist. And I'm just going to go like this. Swipe upwards. Um, but don't think, hey, there's a set in there. I don't really like it, so I'm not going to buy the kit. Um, you know, think of all the things you can use in the kit. And then whatever's in there that you may not have inspiration for right now. That doesn't mean inspiration won't come. Or it doesn't mean you don't have a crafty friend that you can give it to or trade with later down the line. Barter something with, you know. Take advantage of the value that you get in the kit right now. Take advantage that it's available. You guys know Gina K's stuff sells out very quickly. And it might be a while before what you like comes back in stock or that you can get it as an individual item. Oh, that is so cool. All right, I'm very happy with that. Love it. Okay, then I want to stamp out... My sentiment, again, you could use the incentive set. Remember, the incentive set is free with $75 purchase. It automatically, you don't put it in your basket. It just automatically comes, and you can purchase the dies, which mine are already on the way. But you can purchase the dies if you wanted to. Um, but I'm going to use the on the inside 
set here because I have this cool happy birthday here. But let me read these to you. You don't look a day over fabulous. Um, sending you the warmest wishes on your special day. Blessings on your special day. A true friend always remembers your birthday and never remembers your age. I love, love, love that one. Wishing you a year filled with fun and adventure. And just like that, another birthday. Hope your day is extra special. Make all your wish may all your wishes come true. Cheers. Celebrate your birthday. You keep getting better with age. I'm so glad your mother gave birth to you. Um, there's a line of packages and a line of candles that you could easily make a border with. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to a super amazing kid. Don't count the candles, count your blessings. Eat a piece of cake. Heck, it's your birthday. Eat the whole cake. You're a cute and adorable. Happy birthday, kid. Happy, you're cute and adorable. Happy birthday, kiddo. Happy birthday. You're not special because it's your birthday. You're special because you're you. And then you have a little tiny candle here, and you have a bigger candle here, and then you have an individual present here. So I was originally going to do the happy birthday here, but I kind of like make all your wishes come true. Now I think I'll stick with the happy birthday, and we'll do that down here. And then I'm going to put the inside. We're going to grab our Misty so we can make sure that I'm stamping straight. And that's why I left a little space on the bottom so that I would have room for that. Let's turn this way. And the Gina K inks are dye inks, so they dry very quickly. There's not going to be any smearing or smudging of the inks. And since I've already cut this down, ooh, we could do right in the middle. Let's do that. That looks straight to me. Does it look straight to you guys? Sure. And we're going to use that same black onyx ink. And if you guys are interested in getting this kit or the inside sentiments i will have the link down below or any of the gina k inks or papers or sequins or adhesive or anything like that i would greatly be honored if you would use my links it lets gina k know that you were inspired by my video and if you are inspired by video or just have fun watching me please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up please Let's me know. And like I said, comment down below. I love reading you guys' comments. I read all the comments that let me know. Hey, yeah, I do the inside of my cards. Or nah, Nance, I'm like you. I don't do the inside of cards. Look at it. Oh, sometimes a card is so pretty you don't want to give it away. Can I give a birthday card to myself? <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is... I don't know if the camera is going to pick up how shiny that gold paper is. Do you guys see that? Okay, it's a really pretty metallic gold paper, and I believe it is back in stock over at Gina K. I will link it for you, but I want to do the inside. Okay, we're going to have to turn it this way, so that way when we, when we close our door, we're not smashing our card, right? So we need to make sure that when we stamp, we stamp this way. So our inside sentiment is going to say... The one about the candles. Oh, make all... Well, I like the one that says, don't count the candles, count your blessings, and then may all your wishes come true. So I'm going to double up on my sentiments here because I like the candles on the outside and I like what's on the inside. So don't count the candles, count your blessings, and may all your wishes come true. Right? And we already have happy birthday on there. And we're on the line. I think I'm pretty straight. Same thing. Going to use the same black onyx ink. One more time.
perfect. Okay, and let's just assemble everything. That was pretty easy, you guys. And it looks cool. Now, trick. If you don't want to waste the interior of this, in fact, we're not going to waste it because I feel guilty about wasting this beautiful paper. I'm going to grab my Gina K. Intricate. Hold, please. Pausing. Okay, I moved you guys up a little bit. I have my um, Intricut machine, and I have it on the die cut setting here and on the middle setting here. I'm going to push it down on my machine, and I'm going to press these in so it's suction cup down. And remember, this is last month's happy birthday die. I have it face down in the middle. I'm actually going to cut out two. I'm going to get as close to the edge. And I'm going to cut out two sentiments here so that I can still use this as a matte layer, but I'm going to have gold happy birthdays out of it. So I have it face down on the gray cutting mat, and I'm going to put this heavier mat, um, platform on top. So it's going to cut into the gray mat. So this way I'm not wasting any of that gold metallic paper. So I may not use them on this card. see that but I will have them where's my GK pokey tool where's my pokey tool if that child no oh, she did not take my pokey tool but now I will have this matte layer cardstock so I have one and two. Okay. And I'm going to shake off the excess. And you can turn this over and cut on this side too. And we're going to do that again. Was cutting down into the gray mat. And I just put this heavier one over top. So easy to crank, you guys. So now I have some extra happy birthday sentiments. So now I pull these out so that they unsuction, fold it up, and now I can move it out of the way. And this happy birthday also came with shadow dies, so I can cut those out of darker cardstock later. But I hate wasting good cardstock when it's just going to be a matte layer behind something else. So like foil cardstock or this beautiful, this is a really rich, dark gold. It reminds me of like, um, what do they call it? Like an antique gold. I think it's just called, it's just gold. Yeah, metallic gold cardstock from Gina K. All right, so now we can assemble everything. See, and nobody but you guys are going to know that I cut that out of the center. And I still have plenty of room around the outside. Because, again, I cut this to five and a half by four and a quarter. Something just fell off the shelf. See, so we still have a beautiful matte layer. And 
Ta-da! There it is. And of course, we can add a little bit of shimmer pen. Somewhere I have a shimmer pen. A Wink Stella pen or shimmer pen or something. Whatever you have. I think this one's dying. There's not much shimmer in that one. So we can add some sequins or something like that. There we go. And there we have our happy birthday card made with the new layered candles, which is part of the spring celebrations kit for March 2024. There we have that. And I use the new on the inside birthday sentiments for the outside and on the inside don't count the candles count your blessings make all your wish may all your wishes come true and the happy birthday so if you had fun watching me make this i would love your thumbs up if you're interested in purchasing any of the products that i use today please check the links down below and i want to know in the comments are you somebody who finishes the inside of your cards or are you not thanks for watching guys if you're not a subscriber to my channel i'd be very honored if you would click the bell and subscribe to my channel and get notifications every time i post a video and if you want any information on the other cards that I made. Here is the um, poppy stencil and here is the, oops, just had it in my hands and dropped it. Here is the layered balloon one using the incentive set. So a whole bunch of fun with this kit so far. So hopefully I've given you guys some inspiration. Again, the celebrations kit and the inside birthday are still available on the Gina K website. Thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye.